As you might have noticed in the last few years, there's been a trend going on with these portable touchscreen monitors. A lot of people have a iPad or an Android tablet that they use for their daily driver uh, with looking at emails, playing games, or entertainment. Now recently, a lot of people have been using these portable monitors, uh, touchscreen monitors that are between 1080p to even up to 4K in a 15.6 inch screen size. And that allows you to be able to mirror your phone or you know, extend your phone or your laptop with these little portable monitors that are about you know half an inch thick, thick, if that, and you can use them to play and emulate games, watch movies, and you can also use something called Samsung Dex, which all Galaxy devices, the newer ones have, or there's other uh, desktop-like UIs uh, using your phone that you can emulate right, right onto that screen. Hey guys, welcome back to Developquint. Today we're checking out the SmartPad 3-in-1 monitor from Linkcool. Since these new monitors have come out, there's been a gap between tablets, iPads, um, laptops, TVs, and these monitors. They, they've never been the same thing. But Linkcool has been doing something very unique in the last few months and has been able to create and design this new product that has three different device types in one device. Now those three devices are a smart TV, a Android tablet uh, running Android 11 and up, as well as a portable monitor with a built-in battery. And you might be asking, why on earth would I want a TV, a monitor, and a tablet in one device? Well, I'll give you a few options. Imagine you're going to the airport and you're getting bored and you know you have your laptop. Well, you can plug in your monitor into that, your little portable monitor, it's 14 inches, extend your workspace there and start getting some work done. Or say you just have your phone and you want to be able to you know, watch a movie or and you can plug in your Bluetooth headphones, watch a movie on your phone, but you want to have a bigger screen. You could either wirelessly mirror that with a uh, mirror cast that's built into this device, or you can use USB-C to HDMI to be able to mirror your phone onto this portable monitor and be able to watch Netflix, Hulu, whatever it is, onto a 14 inch screen. And lastly, say you wanna play some games, but you don't wanna play it on your phone, but you rather play it on a bigger, like an iPad Pro or something like that. You can use this device to mirror your phone and use the touchscreen ability to play it like it's a tablet on its own and just have your phone as the working device. And one more use case I would say is just using the monitor by itself, not even having to have a phone or a laptop, just to be able to use that tablet on its own to be able to play movies or even have you know streaming TV channels, be able to watch movies and television shows right there on that device by itself. So what are the specifications of the LinkCool touchscreen smart pad? For one, there's three different options. There's a FHD 1080p option, which has two gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage. The next, and this is the one that I backed on Kickstarter, that's the 3K, uh, it has four gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage. And then finally, there's the 4K option, which has four gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage. One gripe that I have about this is they, a lot of people ask about having more storage than 32 gigs, um, like 64 or 128, but they didn't have that as an option. You can use a, a USB-C hub and plug in a micro SD card or SD card or something like that though. Now, as far as connection ports, there's an HDMI, USB 3.0, USB Type-C, an AC or AUX input, and then there's a DC for power. You can also use the USB Type-C for power as well. Another option is to connect wirelessly with Miracast and mirror your phone. An awesome thing about this that a lot of portable touchscreen monitors do not have are built-in batteries. This smart pad has a 10,000 milliamp hour battery. It can run up to six hours watching movies, playing games on that tablet. 
Uh, if you're coming from something like an iPad Pro or iPad 6th Gen, a 9.7 inch or a 12.9 inch screen, this has a huge 14.1 inch screen for an Android tablet slash monitor. Now the build quality for this 3-in-1 monitor is really good from what I can tell. There's a aluminum body that has a glass front where the touch screen is. And then at the bottom of the front, there's two dual speakers for that uh, really nice sound coming right at you. That's actually a problem that a lot of these touchscreen monitors have is the speakers are little teeny holes on the side and they have, you know, coming out the sides or even the back and it's really muffled. It's hard to tell because it's so packed in there, but I think these are going to be better. We'll have to see once I get the device. This one's a little different from the tablets and monitors that you've seen. It's not just a flat back, but there's actually a two level to it. So uh, it probably holds those components in it with the, the built-in battery. So as you can see in this picture, there's uh, a higher step and then there's another one. And then there's some openings for those fans to come out. So to be honest, this product was on Kickstarter and then later on what I think it's called Indigo or something like that. It's basically Kickstarter is something where you can fund projects that entrepreneurs are wanting to start. Keychron keyboards had theirs on Kickstarter and they have the K7 keyboard on there right now. There's a lot of other products and usually they're really successful, but this, the smart pad, a lot of people were skeptical after a while. And even from the beginning, because it was a, you know, a, you know, a factory from China that's building this product. And there still is a little bit of doubt. But the campaign on Kickstarter, they recently gave us a, a new update on where it's at. And this is just what the email said. And I'll kind of go through this with you. So I'll just kind of summarize. It says, we're sorry that we were not able to provide updated news about the delivery time here for a long time. Um, you know, it was like two months that they didn't say anything and everyone was asking like, where's the, where's the updates? Like what's the manufacturing status at? Is this going to be shipped in July? Like mentioned, and it's July right now, almost August. And they said, we apologize and inform you that we have put the shipping time for your order off one month until the end of August, which we'll see if that happens. It might be farther than that really. They didn't really give us an idea of shortages for you know different parts for this product like chipsets and an IC shortage you know from the pandemic. So that really affected like where they are at and then the past 2 months they didn't really find you know good replacement components for those materials but they were able to resolve but did have to pay more for those products. And then they mentioned their the panel model suitable for our tooling and our shortage shortage in the market. We have to purchase new LCD panels for our smart pad. And then they go on to say we have to modify the tooling of the frame for the smart pad because the touchpad panel is different. It's a little bit longer on the bottom of the panel. I'm not sure if that'll affect you know the chin in the front. And then they said three months delivery time of converter chipsets from the supplier in the market. So that seems like a long time not. We're not gonna get those by August. We had been ready for the main board and workshop, but lack of converter chipset chipsets, like I mentioned, which could be delivered to us at the 20th of August, 2021. Once we get the converter chipset, we could assemble the goods soon. So that's their update there. And they said, thanks for understanding. Um, I think a lot of people were bugged because it was, you know, a lot longer than they said. They did over promise and under deliver, unfortunately. But at any rate, it's an exciting uh, device. I think it will be something that's very different and something that a lot of people are going to want to have. So overall, I give this a big thumbs up uh, for the future when this is coming out. I... I'm excited to get mine. Again, I got the 3K 3-in-1 uh, monitor. It has 4 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage with that touchscreen. And, you know, being able to have watch TV, you know, have an Android tablet as well as a monitor that has a built-in battery is a huge plus. And coming in just under, I think it was 369 or something like that, 349. It's a great investment. I mean, compared to an iPad Pro, which is up to $1,100 $1, 
or an Android tablet you can get for 300 bucks and it's like a nine or 10 inch and kind of slow, but doesn't have those other features in it. I think this is a good middle point. Um, we'll see how it is. I think it'll be awesome, you know, being able to use it for all these different devices and just kind of have it be your main driver, whatever you're doing. Also getting a stylus or something like that, be able to use an external keyboard and mouse will be great. You can use something that's called Samsung DeX. Make sure you check out this video, what Samsung DeX is, all those Galaxy devices. You can use this desktop-like UI on a monitor or TV, even wirelessly, and basically build your, turn your phone into a desktop machine. Really awesome, I use it all the time. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you hit the like button if you enjoyed it, you got some value out of this video and subscribe uh, for more content like this. I'm gonna be giving an update probably in a month or two months from now when I get that smart pad, if I do. <laughs> I think I will, but it's definitely been a different journey just waiting for their updates and things like that from Linkool. But anyway, yeah, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.